So when we look at 2K games, we look at the negatives, the major microtransactions, the fact that you pretty much have to spend the best part of $100 after purchasing the game to even compete in any of the main game modes. We look at things like computer defense or off-ball defense being the dominant way of playing the game. And we think, what if there was a game where we needed on-ball defense? What if there was a game where we didn't have to pay to upgrade our players? What if there was a game that we could just grind our way to the best players in the game? And what if I told you there was a basketball game that was exactly this, but was received so badly that it killed an entire franchise? Anywhere you go on YouTube right now, if you look on Google, there is nothing but positive things about this game. This is a four year old game and there are still people playing it, even though we have a new 2K every year. I want to talk a little bit more critically about this and talk about the many reasons why this game failed because there's nothing but good things about NBA Live 19. So I was one of the very first people in the world to play this game because I was one of probably 15 creators to actually attend EA Play 2018. And while there were videos from the likes of LSK, from Jesser, I think, I think Mini Minter might have uploaded a video on this and a lot of other guys. Of a relatively large content creators, I was the only one that was putting in a significant amount of time to break this game. But as someone who hasn't really played the game since then, why not hop back in to see what it's like now? Hey, so are we can be a male player or a female. Why not just be a female baller? Because why not? This is some of the worst selection of female hair I have ever seen. I'm not gonna lie, this is really bad. This hair looks really, really bad. Uh, I, I can make her Lonnie Walker, screw it. Screw it. She's Lynette Walker, I guess. White, Lynette Walker, but white. So play like a big, a wing, or a guard. Let's see who the options are here. So your only option is Candace Parker. For wing, you got Elena Deladon. I remember the Elena Deladon build was cheese. That's all I remember. And like a big, is it grind? Nope. No Brittany Griner, I guess. As far as I remember, the Elena Deladon uh, one was so cheese. Because it's Larry or it's Deladon. Deladon, as far as I'm aware, is the cheesiest build. And let's go tall. So EA actually, with my players, you didn't have to spend money ever. You Not even you didn't have to, you couldn't. You couldn't spend money on cosmetics. You couldn't spend money to level up your my player. It was, that was it. You grinded the game to get either cosmetics or leveling up. The only place where there was microtransactions were ultimate team packs. So to start off, we're gonna be playing one of the challenges that are still available. Okay, let's go and try to play this one. Happy Holidays event. I'm on like level one. My player is probably the lowest overall possible. So I might as well play this, but like, I remember back in the day, I had a 99 overall in NBA Live. I'm not gonna lie, I did. So we're a wing shooter. We're taller than Blake Griffin. We've got Stanley Johnson, Reggie Block, and Reggie Jackson. We're playing against, they can't be a real players, can they? Who the hell is S. McDuffie? Go aboard. Let's run, screw it, I'm gonna pull for three. Oh, that's green! Oh, no. Big board, Lynette, let's go. Hit me with that screen, is that Stanley Johnson? Hit me with the screen again. Oh, I got bottom to the basket. Nice take. Oh, wow, a layup went in. Let's roll, Blake. Oh, yeah, Blake. Oh, you know what? Go up with that. That's an assist anyway. Okay, we got holiday gifts, which are... We got some New York Knicks warm-up pants. Okay, so I can upgrade a skill right here. And look at this. I started out competent. I started out competent. So I can upgrade my three-pointer to 75. And I get a shoe. For 76, I get a new jump shot, then I get an accuracy boost. So with every single upgrade for a point, I can upgrade a point and then I get something free. Then for the icon path for XP, I can keep going and boosting up some skills like block, free throw, and I can get like different traits. Like I think that's really, really cool. Like with each different thing you get, you can boost, boost things. Like obviously it's not as in depth as 2K is, but I think it's a really cool concept. And I just wish we had an alternate game like this that was way just more, just not as complicated as 2K. So this is something that we could never contemplate in gaming right now. And a lot of people would be thinking, wow, we have a game like this. Why didn't more people play it? Well, in reality, you need more 
than the game just costing less than its competitor to do anything. Unless the game itself is free, the game having a lack of microtransactions isn't going to get people to purchase the game. And one of the modes EA tried to use to get people into the game was a mode called Court Battles. So Court Battles was a really interesting idea, but it was really badly implemented. It was heavily reliant on there being a whole bunch of people playing the game, as well as the fact that no online meant that you could literally just completely massacre somebody's court if you just didn't if they just didn't play the game for a day. There were weird situations that it just didn't work as a game mode. It straight up did not work. However, the concept of doing a bunch of challenges, going and beating a team and getting their players, a little bit like FIFA Street. If you guys ever played FIFA Street back in the day, it was basically the original FIFA Street. You would go to like their court, you would beat their players, and they would constantly beat challenges, and you could be able to take players from the other team after you beat them. A really cool idea, very badly executed it. I wanna see, do I still have my guys in court battles? It's like, I used to have a legit team. Oh, they took my team. No, I had the like God Squad. Please tell me I still have the God Squad. At least they kept me my ultimate team. And you want to know what one of the best parts about this is? So if you got a city, Bella Mullet is this like tiny town in the middle of nowhere in Ireland. Like not even the middle of nowhere, the edge of nowhere. It's like the closest point in Europe to America. But it's this tiny little town that I have family from there. And like all these places, the like Carrick and Shan are really big. Cork, obviously, the fake, the people from Cork actually genuinely believe it's the capital of Ireland. We got Dublin, you got Galway, you got Limerick. So you got some big places, Trilly, Waterford. Carrick and Shannon's small enough, but Bell Mullet, of all places, Bell Mullet. Oh, I got my team. My team's here. Like, yeah, I was that guy. I played so much of this. Look at my team. If you guys look at my team, I got Embiid, I got Porzingis, I got Stretch Monroe, the guy from the uh, NBA Street Games. We have good old Spice Adams, and look at who's playing on the wing. We have 92 overall, iPod King Carter. Oh man, we have iPod. Let's see who else we have in our team. So we got iPod, we got Stretch Monroe, Porzingis. Do we really have nobody? So basically, they deleted everyone other than my five. I used to have the professor. I had so many people in my... This is the only mode I played. I had so many and they got rid of them all. That's a pity. I don't want to play j who had like 96 overall Yanis or anything. But I would not mind playing a little bit of a better squad. Shaq. Nobody even has any of like the, the cool players. So screw it. Splash. I'm playing your team. Splash. Dunks. Dunks are worth five. Splash. This, I, this is camp you. This camp you. A man who does not walk inside the three-point line. Wait, why is this my team? So you literally have to use your player. That is annoying. I had a 99 overall, but the game deleted it. This is who we got. Hit him with the... Get him the ball back. Hit him with the jab steps. Hit him with the jab steps. Fake. Jab step him. Come on. You know you can jab step. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jam it on him. Jam it on him. <laughs> Let's go, let's celebrate in their face, come on. Oh, it's not let me celebrate. We're good. Marquis Chris guarding Stretch. Oh, in the co- Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Embiid, you're good. Let's play bully ball. One more into the corner. Those defensive rotations that my opponent did are just better than anything 2K have done. Solid celebration right there. Like, you can really body someone up here. This camera, I forgot how bad the camera angle was. It's just the little things that this game just didn't do right. Like, oh, that's a nice shot there by Stretch. <laughs> no, don't do him like that. Don't do him like that. And that is the dub right there. I'm sorry, Splash. I had to destroy your team. Play of the game has to be that last play. Surely. Surely it's that last play where he just rises up. Oh, I'm sorry, Splash. I'm sorry to do that to you. Oh, he's wearing a Dr. J jersey. I want to see, can I find the game online? That would be kind of fun. We're in 2023 and I'm literally playing with a legend and I found a game quicker online than I probably could in 2K. Oh, wow. We're playing on this court. Oh, no. We, we, I got a CPU on my team, don't I? Oh no, Who's this? which one's the CPU now? We got a CPU Maya Moore. Let me set my screen. Why can't I set a screen? Hey, hit me! 
Oh, nice take. That works. Oh, I'm so oh, Mick, you're better than this. Good defense, Mick. It's fine. He hits, he hits. My board. Get him in the corner. Okay, L1 is set screens. Just give it to the legend. That's all that matters. See, I'm not passing you the ball this time. I'm not passing you the ball. I'm taking it to the basket. And I'm the one who's going to score the layup. Let's not forget about that, like. I'm that guy. Oh, you just got hit on the back cut. Are we out here playing NBA 2K, my team? Come on, you're meant to be the legend. You're meant to be our guy. No, 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 you're not getting the ball back. No. You're lucky. You are useless. You are absolutely useless, Mr. Delayed Shots. Why are you cutting? You're not this 2K23 AI. You're a real player. Pass me the ball. You stink. You are terrible. Oh, take it to the basket. Oh, it's an easy green. I missed. Nice put back. I'll give you that one. That was a good... That was a very good possession. Oh. Oh, I thought I greened it. Oh, I thought he had the bucket. Oh, I thought it was a guarantee. That's green. Nope. Maya Moore, you're going to be wide open here. I'll take the layup. I got him on defense. That's defense, Mick. Set him a screen. Oh, roll. Roll hard, Mick. Just take your dunk, maybe? There we go. We won. We won. Okay, I'm just looking at the active NBA roster. So they'd obviously gotten the free agents from 2019 because Horford's playing for the Sixers. The Bucks don't have Miritich. Miritich isn't there. Oh, no, the Bucks do have Miritich. It's a weird one because in 2019, Miritich had gone, already decided to go back to Barcelona. The Bulls have Levine, obviously. Larry Markkinen's still there. Sadoransky's still there. The Cavs absolutely sucked. Did the Clippers have Kawhi? Yeah, the Clippers have Kawhi and PG. With Lou Will, Trez. This is by far the best team in this game. Do the Lakers have AD? Oh, maybe not. Oh, the Lakers got buggy this year. I forgot. I'm buggy still at 88 overall. No, man. The Lakers are going to cook here. They're going to Quinn cook here. Holy moly, what is this Lakers team? This Lakers team is ridiculous, lads. Oh my god. And the Warriors without Kevin Durant unfortunately can't compete with this just god tier Lakers team that have been made somehow in this game. I mean, DeAndre Jordan, apparently the third best player from the Nets. Why is Rondé Hollis Jefferson the fourth best, fifth best player in the Nets? I legit thought Jenna Musa was going to cock in the NBA. That man, I thought he was coming in as a professional scorer. Turns out he's a god in Europe, but yeah, he sucked in the NBA. Okay, I'm going to go and just, I'm just going to sim a season and see what happens. I assume nobody's taking down the Lakers. Like, even though you got Jimmy Buckets on Miami. Lakers did win the ring in the 1920 season. Without, not with DeMarcus Cousins, but they did win the ring. So I assume the Lakers are going to just comfortably win. I'll say it, the menu looks, the menu is kind of cooler, way cooler in this game than in any 2K. And like this starting five looks hell right now. Okay, there's an 82 overall free agent Dwayne Wade, who I kind of want. I kind of want to offer him a contract. And we automatically get the player rotations changed. As you can see, Dwayne Wade into the starting lineup for Danny Green. And there's obviously no downloading draft class, so we've gotten, like, Brian Sowell. We've got a guy who looks like Baron Davis going number one. When you advance to a spot, you don't, like, see, oh, win, win, win. You can't, like, stop simulation. It just simulates to the point, which is not great, if we're being honest, even for 20, by 2018 standards. He's at 44 and 37. What? Are we even in the playoffs? So at least they got it right with Jokic starting the All-Star game, I guess. But Levine's an All-Star. LeBron winning a player of the month. And the Nets winning 58 games. It's not great. Jokic actually winning MVP in a game from 2019. They got that one right. Or 2018. But these are also from 19. They got the MVP Jokic race right. 29 and 11. 
But Giannis LeBron, third in the MVP race. But uh, Luka, obviously winning Rookie of the Year. It's Luka. So the playoff bracket, we are the fourth seed. Potentially playing against the Clippers. That'll be an interesting one here. I'll jump in. Last two minutes of this game. Tie game, two minutes to go. And LeBron's in. Nah, nah, DeRozan. You're not going by me. Let's be real here. You're not going by me. Quinn Cook with the steal. Oh, on the break? LeBron? Oh. It's meant to be play for LeBron. It's clearly not a play for LeBron. Everyone get out of his way, please. Hit AD. On the cut. Please dunk it. There we go. We get the lead. Hey, that is all. Those graphics are terrible. I'm not... I have to be honest. A lot of players look awful. James, 41 pin. Okay, screw it. LeBron, just burn him baseline. Just burn him. Dunk it on him. Okay, that works. That works. I won. I won. Oh, my God. That I. There is no way I just did that. Oh, my God, LeBron. Don't do him like that. And that is a made free throw. Six seconds to go. One point game. Okay, if they go to DeRozan, you know who's guarding them. Oh, no, they're going to Bellinelli. Let's go, Dwayne Wade. I get it. This is like two years after you retire, but it doesn't matter. That is Dwayne Wade right there with a huge block. The annoying thing with simulating games is just how long it takes to simulate a game. Like, it's a lot longer than 2K games, even on the PS4 era. We go and have a 2-0 lead. And we sweep the Spurs. That is interesting. Wait, the Clippers choked again? There's no way, right? The Clippers again choked. They choked in real life to face the Lakers and they choked in this sim. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose to Phoenix as well. Phoenix were an eight seed. They got Booker and a rookie DeAndre Ayton. We just we just got gentlemen swept. We just got gentlemen swept. Who are they playing in the conference finals? Please tell me Brooklyn are out. No, Brooklyn are in the conference finals against Philly. Houston. So Harden and Westbrook. Playing against Booker. Harden and Westbrook are going to win a ring, aren't they? Oh my god. The Phoenix Suns are an 8 seed. They did a Miami. They did a Miami Heat on it and made the finals against the Sixers. I can't even simulate game by game because of how bare bones this mode is. But oh my god, an 8 seed making the finals. And the Philadelphia 76ers with Al Horford. A team that got swept in the first round of the playoffs in real life. Win the NBA championship against a team that didn't make the playoffs in real life in the finals. Ultimate Team was one of the biggest negatives in this game. Whereas 2K18 had a terrible My Team and Live18 had a great Ultimate Team, Live19, instead of just making the Live18 Ultimate Team just bigger, making more online modes, they revamped the entirety of Ultimate Team and it became the laziest mess I have ever seen. They did not care. And I'm not even joking when I talked to the developers in June of that year about Ultimate Team. Some of them basically acted like Ultimate Team wasn't a thing. Others said Ultimate Team is not our focus, which again, I felt like was an incredibly naive thing. They thought they could take on 2K and Park, a game mode that 2K do better, especially at that time, did better than any other sports game in existence, the My Player experience. Whereas at that time, 2K's My Team experience was terrible. And EA thought that they could beat 2K at what 2K did best and decide to neglect what 2K did terribly at the time, what EA did best. Another naive strategy, and it just didn't work out. So we're into Ultimate Team, and if you guys don't know, I got one of the best. I have one of the best Ultimate Teams in this game. I got a Mustache Amir Johnson. I got Bernard King. I got Augustine. I got Willis Reed. Chandler Parsons. Tim Duncan. But my starting five, we got Clay, Grant Hill. Will Chamberlain, Charles Oakley, and oh yeah, 99 overall Giannis a point guard. So let's see what cards there still are on the community market. There are still how many pages? There are still plenty of cards. This game is like five years old. This game went in 2018, and there are still people to this day auctioning up cards. But one thing with this game was is players always had the same picture. So as you can see here, 12, 13, Aaron Flalo. And 1819 Aaron Aflalo, both have the same picture. Joel Balambi, I have never heard of you in my life. I'm sorry if you're watching this video, you're definitely not. Not even the peak where you watch the DBG channel. Never heard of you in my life. Oh my god, Miles Bridges was a 59 overall as a rookie? Six ratings lower than whoever Tyler Kavanaugh is. 
We have not one, not two, but three Matt Costellos who I'm not entirely sure was ever an NBA player. Like, you're screwing me. You're screwing me with me if you're saying this guy is an NBA player. A 17-18 All-Star to Marcus Cousins that was a 76 overall? Also very harsh on Denver Nuggets. Well, to be fair, this isn't actually that harsh on Detroit Pistons Iverson from 0809. Although this is definitely, this is what I mean. Like this is most definitely a picture of Allen Iverson from the 90s, not 2009. I think this was like the biggest missed opportunity because 2K18 had one of the worst my team modes ever. And EA actually had a really good ultimate team in 18. They just ruined it in 19. Basically in NBA 2K19, the only thing you could grind was offline. It had maybe the best offline reward system ever at the time. At the end of the day, there's only so much you can do with offline. So to EA, in the defense, every week you could get certain cards. The problem was that playing online, nothing to do. Head to head. That was it. You could play head to head and you could play against an NBA team. They were the only like real things you could do. Everything else were just these little challenges on your way to getting a 99 overall Shaq, which as far as I'm aware, Cabrillo was the only person in the world to have ever gotten that card. It was a game where you really didn't need to buy packs because there was actually no reason to because there was no reason to ever play this game online. So there was never a reason to buy packs if you know where I'm coming from. So it just became a complete dead mode. Even when NBA Live was a thing, it was dead. And it was even dead before the game came out. So I have really enjoyed going back and playing this game. I think a lot of people do enjoy going back and playing this. However, there was a major issue with this game at launch. And I think it was the killing of the game. The game launched on the same day as NBA 2K19 at the same price. The year before, EA put a huge sale on NBA Live 18, gave it out free to so many people, and it was like $30 on launch. And it still didn't have too many sales, but when EA launched NBA Live 19 at the same price, same day as 2K, it was a disaster. They were very naive with their game. This game was ready to go in June. It honestly was. I played this game way before anyone else. This game was ready to go in June. If they had have released this game on the 1st of August, an entire month before NBA 2K19, and released it at a price point of $20, I can guarantee you they sell 10 times the amount of copies they sold. Because NBA Live 19 was on sale for $10 six weeks after release. It just didn't sell enough copies. And it is the reason why the game just has no longer existed. It not only didn't sell enough copies, it never made up for the microtransactions. However, there was opportunities there for EA. The game was ready so early. There were no changes made. And all they had to do was release it for cheap and release it before 2K. However, I remember talking to the devs and talking to some marketing guys at EA, they fully believed that they could go toe to toe with 2K and win. It was a game that should have came out for $20 or maybe even came out ahead of the curve and free. It was a complete failure. And while people do like to look back on EA and NBA Live 19 as this positive experience because they look at the positives like no microtransactions, the gameplay does feel fluid, great on ball defense. And it's a hell of a lot of fun to boot up when you've been playing 2K for years. The issue is, is that we got to look back in four years ago. We got to look back at reality. We got to see the reasons why this game franchise does not exist anymore. And this game franchise is not going to exist because of just how much of a disaster this game was.